Hello friends, it's Akitek Zayed here. Welcome back to the next tutorial on how to create parametric column. Okay, this time around, let's create another different parametric column. Now I'm go into family, create family, and now let's go into column first. Open it up. Okay, and now open another one which is generic family metric generic model and okay. Good. Okay, so um, let me see what type of column you like I don't know like I'm just creating it. Let's start with an extrusion. Let me try creating a circular type. Um, I want the radius to be 200. Um, I think 400 should be okay. Yeah. And put this and finish it up. Bears, I want it to be 150 still. 150. Nice. And finish it up. Good. So, this time around, if I will go to back elevation and let me create a. What do I create? Let me create a sweep. A void sweep. Create a void sweep. Pick line. <coughs> Sorry. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Now open. Edit profile. Go to your right elevation or any elevation you wish. Good. Now I want to have something. Let me have a bit first. Yeah, let me try it with line and then like this, and then good, and then another line again. Then another one again. Good. Mm. <laughs> and go with the line. I think it's much more better. something like this for my void okay I have something like this let me see it in 3d I have something like this uh, let me create another revolve another void form mm, let me create or should I just leave it Mm, let me just leave it. 
I don't want to stress this video too much okay go back and then load into project I want to load into project number one sorry Do this good mm -hmm. that's one I have it here nice sweep I'm sorry Let me sweep blend let me create a sweep sorry I am trying to make this big line I'm trying to make it a bit exciting okay and then edit profile nice so something like this and we add something like this. Let me make it a bit parabolic. Then finish it up. And finish it up. Nice. And then load it back into project. Um, yes, family override existing. Okay. It's okay. Now open another family, which is family number three. I need another metric. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let me create a sweep or a blend. I don't know. Let me create a sweep. Sketch path. I can't really remember the radio I used there. <laughs> Let me switch to family number okay yeah you gotta remember the radius I use so 338.4 no problem 400 switch back to family 3 no Let me just open another one. I don't really know the name of the family. The family. I open so. Let me just open another. Okay. This is my family four. Alright. So, go. Let me create. And I even create at the head. Let me create Doric and create Doric style extrusion rectangular extrusion. Let me just pick line, make it make it 450, I guess. Yeah. 450 sorry, divided by 2. It is 200, 225, 225, and okay, and then 
Good. Fifty is enough. Okay, I want to create um, a sweep. A sweep. Okay. And now sketch path. Rectangular finish edit profile right elevation nice let's have it here to be forty I think it has something like this I can't really remember the exact shape. Okay. Finish it up and now finish it up. I have something like this, and let's load into project. Project number one. Nice, but. This time around, I want you to align to Mr. Top there. Okay. Nice. So let me try blend <laughs> top. This is for the top. I want the top to be rectangular. Okay, and then the base I want it to be circle, circular. But the base should be a bit bigger. Not no problem. And let's create a blend. Go to a blend. Lock it in place. Lock it in place. Lock it in place. Align everything and lock them in place. And this one too. Lock it in place. So if you kind of select this. And you drag it okay cancel let me 
let's see how do I fix this plug it in place and let me try moving yeah you can see our our column is now parametric you can increase the height and it will adapt to the new height be it you want a column that starts from level one all the way to level two all the way to level two so you can just have this kind of column and all you have to do is increase the height drag it upwards and you have your new you have your new column at hand so this is what i created let me show you the blend is something like this it's fine it's looking fine you can see <laughs> it's looking okay it's looking okay this is the blend so i will definitely share this type of column too for you to experiment with the base is a bit too small you can do better okay no problem i will increase i will try increasing the base for you but the top is okay the top is okay it's just the base that is a problem it's too small i'll increase the base and i will share this in the description of, in the description of the video so if you want you can download and make use of it it's a nice column it's really looking fine it's very nice it's dynamic okay guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope these columns these two columns are helpful to you let's see same time tomorrow for another exciting episode or exciting video okay bye for now thank you